Let's begin by seeing how branch connection is made. Check that the pipe to be clamped is straight and free of surface defects which might interfere with sealing. To avoid leaks, it's important to clean the pipe to obtain a smooth, clean surface. Check that the clamp gasket is undamaged and clean and seated in position. Press the clamp and rear saddle against the pipe without twisting, otherwise the gasket may slip out of position. Tighten the Allen screws alternately to the specified torque. Seal the neck of the clamp with flax or hemp and screw on a one inch full bore ball valve. If you're not sure if the valve is full bore, you can check by passing the large hole saw through it. If the hole saw doesn't jam, the valve is okay. Also check the overall dimensions of the valve as specified in the instruction manual. Fit the hole saw on the drilling unit. You can choose from two different hole saws depending on the size of pipe to be drilled. Tighten the drill shank in the chuck. Screw the drilling unit all the way into the ball valve. Connect the flushing unit to the drilling unit. Before starting to drill, note that the hole saw will have cut through the pipe when the drill penetration has reached 25 millimeters. First open the valve on the flushing unit, start drilling at low speed. First, the thread tap on the drill will penetrate the pipe. At the same instant, the liquid in the pipe will start to flow out through the flushing hose, carrying chips, and will cool the hole saw. In the next stage, the thread tap will screw itself into the piece of the pipe wall to be cut out by the hole saw. This ensures that the cut out piece is always removed. When the hole saw has cut through the pipe wall fully, stop the drilling machine and pull the drill out past the ball valve so that the valve can be closed. The drilling unit can now be removed. The chips are trapped in a filter in the flushing unit. Tap these out. It's very important to clean the filter after drilling in iron, as a build-up of rust will block the hose. Remove the thread tap and unscrew the cut-out piece of pipe. Replace and tighten the set screw against the milled surface on the tap. 